Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is the difference between the default and protected access modifiers in Java? Before explaining this, before ex explaining the differences between these two access modifiers in Java, first I will I will explain the common thing between these two things. Okay, then you can understand the differences in a better way. So let me first explain the common thing between the default and protected access modifiers in Java first. So both this default and protected access modifier specified properties. Properties can be variables and methods, right? When you apply this default or protected access modifiers to these properties like variables and methods, these properties are these properties will become public to all the classes which are inside the same package. So if you are trying to access these properties, this access modifier specified properties inside uh, from the classes which are inside the package, okay? From the classes which are inside the same package, then they are accessible. Public means they are accessible, but they will become private to all the other classes which are outside the package. Okay, if you are trying to access this, this default and protected access modifier specified properties that is variables and methods out from all the classes which are outside a package, then they become private. That means they cannot be accessed. Okay, within the package they can be accessed to all the classes with. And the classes which are outside the package, they cannot be accessed, guys. Okay, this is a very common thing. Uh, for the variables, for the variables and methods which are either specified as default or which are specified as protected, it may be anything, either default or protected. The same case will happen for both. Okay, so this is a common point between the default uh, access modifier specified properties and protected access modifiers property okay they, they are public to all the classes which are inside the same package and private to all the classes which are outside the package that's a common thing between two things and now comes the differences guys now it's uh, very easy for us to understand the differences the first difference here is that very simple difference that is default access modifier can be applied to classes variables and methods okay these three items classes variables and methods whereas protected access modifier can be applied to only variables and methods. You can see the difference here, right? Default access modifier is accessible to three things. That is classes, variables, and methods. Whereas protected access modifier can be applied to variables and methods only. Okay, but not classes. That's first difference, guys. That's first difference. You can practically see also, okay, you try to create. Uh, so let me practically show you how it actually happens. Right click new. Let me create a class. Let's say class A. I'll try to apply default access modifier to the classes, variables, and methods first. So default means you should not be providing anything. Okay, that means this will become default. Okay, if you don't provide public, private, protected, that will become default, guys. So the class A is now default access modifier specified class. So similarly, variables in a string b, okay, or method b. Okay, uh, generally we'll write public void method A, right? Now, if I remove this public, okay, I can remove public. Uh, this will become class will become default type. Now, this is in uh, variables are also default type, and method is also default type now, right? So, you can access, you can actually provide the default access modifier for classes, variables, and methods, but the protected let's try to provide the protected access modifier before the class you are getting an error guys that is illegal modifier it's saying that means you cannot provide protected you can provide public okay you can provide public or default here and coming to here you can provide protected here here also for variables you can provide protected for methods also you can provide protected but for classes you cannot provide protected guys that is the difference okay default access modifier can be provided for classes variables and methods but protected can only be provided for variables and methods only that is the first difference that i am showcasing here then then coming to the second main difference that everyone even the interviewer will expect the answer from this you guys okay the major difference that interviewer will expect the this kind of uh, difference from you is this one that is even though the default and protected access specified access modifier specified properties act as public to all the classes inside the same package and private to all the class outside the package they have a small difference that is that is 
so uh, default access modifier is something similar to this one okay this is this is same as it is for default access modifier default access modifier applied to classes variables and methods are private to all the classes outside the package okay public to all the classes inside the package and private to all the classes outside the package but coming to protected okay protected access um, access modifier can be applied to variables and methods are public to all the classes inside the package and private to all the classes outside the package there is a there is a small difference here guys except child classes this is the difference okay even though it's private to all the classes outside the package except child classes guys this is the difference between default and protected okay here for all the classes including the child classes it is private but here for all the classes outside the package even though it is a child class also it's private guys but here for a protected for all the classes outside the package okay it is private to all the class outside the package except for child class this is the difference let me show you that for example uh, i will go first with the default default uh, things then i will go with the other things i will take it uh, public public class class a right okay these are the default variables and methods now i'll create another class okay or else i will uh, remove this part public class class a inside this i'll create a main method public static void main string of ox string of ox okay so this is in a some package okay this is inside a package let me try to create another class another package some package x i will say okay package x here i will do one thing i'll make this uh, same like a uh, this this class also i will remove this class first okay uh, it is confusing me so better let me delete this class first i will create two packages package x and package y new package a different package i will say package y two packages i will create in the first package i will create a new class that is class x i will say class x okay and uh, i will uh, i will make this variables as default variables in uh, so let's say string name okay i will get, create a variable known as string name is equal to string name i will say and another another one is a method guys so i will say void public uh, public won't be there so void method a i will say i want to make them default access modifier specified default means should not be specifying any access modifier then it will become default so this variable and method are now default type okay default access modifier specified variables and methods now now uh, in in a different package this is package x and this is package y in the package y i'll create another class uh, in the package y i'll create another class that is class z uh, or uh, yeah class z that's fine finish okay in the class z i will create a main method that is public static void main string of args okay okay string of args and i will create an object for this class x okay class x x is equal to new class x okay now since this class is a public class i can access it okay even outside the package also i can access this class import it it you can access okay even though this class z is in a different package i can access class x because class x is of which type public type or no okay i just intentionally kept it now when i try to x dot okay when i try to access this name x dot okay i am not getting any name i am not able to access it okay not able to access it because default access default access specified variables and methods will act as private to all the classes which are outside this package okay with if in the same package it's fine here okay if i create a inside the same package if i create a same class okay a class and i will if i say public static void main they will be public okay they will be public here but private outside the package 
private to all the class outside the package now if i create the class x x is equal to new class x everything will work fine here inside the same package everything will work if i say x dot okay you see name is coming here because name is name is of which type guys name is of default type the what is default default access modifiers are protected access modifiers act as public to all the classes inside the same package right since class a is inside the same package this x everything x and uh, this method also method a you can even access the method from here x dot name is called i will give arun motori and uh, here i will say x dot method a i can call this method also okay everything will work fine with if the class is inside the same package because default access modified modifier specified variables and methods act as public to all the classes which are inside the same package since class a is inside the pa package x we can access but class z is something which is inside a different which is outside the package that means all these default access modifiers specified variables and methods will act as private that means cannot be accessed that's the reason i am not able to access x dot a or x dot x dot name or x dot method a that is a problem right so this is about the default but what about protected we will try the protected also i'll open class x and i will make this variable and method as protected okay protected variable and method as protected now guys within the same thing within within the same uh, with, uh, within the package if you are trying to access from the same package that is class a okay i can still access x dot name x dot method a i can access but in class z but in class z which is outside the package still i cannot access it the same thing okay x dot i cannot access but only one class here is that until and unless this class which is outside the package is a child class okay if this class z becomes a child class of the class x then there is a possibility they are saying okay as part of protected x i will say extends class x okay if i extend this class x you don't have to create an object but you can use them directly that is uh, you can say that name is equal to or motori okay you don't have to say x dot okay you can directly say name is equal to change name to static they are saying okay you have to make them static guys otherwise uh, things will not work static i have to say here also static i have to say okay now i can do it okay name is equal to arun motori i can directly use okay because this child this becomes a child class even though it's outside the package they will not be like private they can be accessed now okay even the method that is method a can be accessed you can call the method a directly okay like this case this is only possibility with a protected that is a very big extension small extension of protected access modifier over the default access modifier for default access modifier even though you extend class it will not happen for example if i make this again default okay you see we'll get errors cannot access them okay you see it's saying that the static field should be accessed in a static way it's saying now it's saying static way okay till now it didn't say that that means you cannot access like this you cannot access like this it's saying okay so if you have to access it's saying that you have to access with the class name so we'll try to access the class dot uh, name okay with the static names i am trying to access okay so with the class name i am able to access but directly i am not able to access this is class a guys so i will do it in the uh, class z actually you are getting already getting errors okay class z is outside the package so here you cannot do anything okay these are these are default default even though the class z extends class x still you cannot uh, use it okay still you cannot use it with the class name or whatever that is okay you cannot use it the extension is not you are not getting this options okay that is the problem okay that is the problem so here you understood the difference right as part of the different different Default access modifier applied to classes, variables, and methods are private to all the class outside the package. Even though it's a child class, it's private case. But protected access modifier, okay? For protected modifier, it's pri private to all the class outside the package except for the child classes. For for child classes, there is a small extension, okay? Small extension of child classes. You can there is a possibility of there is a possibility of accessing it, okay? 
so these are the two differences guys even i practically showed you the particular differences so most of the interviewers will expect this expect ex except child classes very tricky one right so they will uh, always look for you to answer this except child classes concept okay if you are trying if you can explain this concept very well then that will be uh, good enough to answer this particular question so that's it guys thank you bye